Hello and welcome to Trending News. This is your host, G Monk. The Obama administration is celebrating that it has achieved its downwardly revised goal of signing up more than 6 million Americans for Obamacare by March 31. Mission accomplished. Not quite. The administration has not revealed how many of those 6 million people have paid their premiums. If you have not paid, you have not actually enrolled. It is like putting merchandise in your Amazon cart, but never clicking buy. Besides, the number that matters is not how many Americans signed up for Obamacare but rather how many previously uninsured Americans signed up for Obamacare. By that standard, Obamacare may be headed for an epic failure. Recall that between 5 million and 6 million Americans lost their health plans because of Obamacare last fall. If the administration now succeeds in signing up 5 million to 6 million previously insured Americans, it will have achieved nothing. Breaking even is no great accomplishment. And let us not forget, many of those new Obamacare sign-ups are self-sufficient people who were previously paying their own way and now receive government subsidies for insurance. Creating government dependency is not progress, it is a step backward. There are other problems with Obamacare, coming cancellations of employer-based plans, not having enough young healthy and released to play for the old and the sick, skyrocketing deductibles, and massive premium hikes despite Obama's pledge to cut the cost of a typical family premium by up to $2,500 a year. But the whole point of Obamacare was supposed to be to cover the uninsured. The president himself set the standard, giving Americans access to health care for the first time, by which Obamacare should be judged. So hold him to that standard, and ignore the hyped up numbers touting how many people sign up for Obamacare. What matters is, how many of those who actually enroll, were previously, uninsured. That's all for today from Trending News. Thanks for watching. Do come back again tomorrow for more breaking news across the world.